Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and do the multiplying now. Um, remember that when you multiply, you can either simplify and then multiply and then simplify, or you could just multiply them first in the beginning if you wanted to do that and then simplify. Okay, so square root of 81 times by negative square root of 25. So when we simplify this first, square root of 81 is really just 9. And square root of 25 is really just 5 with a negative sign in front of it. And so when we multiply those together, 9 times negative 5 is just negative 45. Okay, number 2. We have square root of 12 times by square root of 8. So when I simplify this, I get 4 and 3 and 2 and 2. So this becomes 2 root 3. And then square root of 8 is 4 and 2, and 2 and 2, so that becomes 2 root 2. And then when we multiply, we do the two outsides, so 2 times 2 is 4. And then we do the two insides, square root of 3 times square root of 2 is just square root of 6. And that's our final answer. Okay, number 3, we have negative 4 root 2 that we have to multiply by 6 root 4. And so if we simplify this first, uh, the negative 4 root 2 does not simplify, but this square root of 4 is really just a 2. And 2 times 6 just gives us a 12. So in this parenthesis we have a 12. In this one we have negative 4 root 2. And so we can multiply the negative 4 with the 12 to get negative 48 root 2. Okay, number four. Now on this one, we need to distribute the root three to root eight plus root 15. Root eight really simplifies to two root two, and then root 15 does not simplify. Okay, so now I'm just gonna distribute square root three multiplied by two root two is two root six. And then square root 3 times root 15 is root 45. And then we simplify this to 9 and 5 and 3 and 3. And so this becomes 3 root 5. 2 root 6 plus 3 root 5. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do number 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and do number 5. We have square root 6 times by square root 5 minus square root 6. So neither one of these in the parentheses simplify like they are. So now we're just going to multiply. We have to distribute the square root 6 to both the square root 5 and the negative square root 6. So square root 6 times square root 5 is square root of 30. And then square root 6 times negative square root 6 is negative square root of 36. Now from here, the only thing we have left to do is simplify. The square root of 30 does not simplify. The square root of 36 is really just 6, though. So you end up with square root of 30 minus 6. That's your final answer. Okay, and then let's look at the last one. Number 6, we have square root 12 times by 2 square roots of 3. Because remember, when you do area, it's just your length times your width. So square root of 12 would simplify to 4 and 3 and 2 and 2. So that simplifies to 2 root 3. And then we have times by 2 root 3. So 2 times 2 is 4. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9. Square root of 9 is really just a 3. And 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so that one is multiplying. So go ahead and um, come back and grab the extra practice for the multiplying section if you need that.